For Minn Kota, typically, you know, wind, uh, as far as resources from Minn Kota, is around 25%. During that cold spell, we, we were only about 10% from wind, so 80% of our resources were supplied from, from coal resources during the time frame of the end of December to the first part of January. And Coyote, Young 1 and Young 2, they all performed very well. We were for the most part at full output during that whole time frame. And wind was limited a little bit due to temperature. One thing that happens with wind is that when you get temperatures 20 to 25 below, you start to have these turbines shut down. We had minimal curtailments on wind, but our resources in, in Hope performed very well during that time frame. Minn Kota was able to meet its loads by, you know, we were able to use all of our resources. Um, one of the things is that we have a fairly diverse uh, mix of resources. We have WAPA hydro allocations, uh, we have wind, we have baseload coal resources, but we have the ability to participate in the, in the MISO market, which allows us to have access to purchasing energy during extreme events. And for us, uh, we have a very extensive demand and response program that works very well with the energy market, which allows us to manage our risk in that type of environment. There's a lot of reasons that come into play as far as why the plants do as well as they do, but a couple of things is that you have a reliable fuel supply in coal, and you have a really dedicated uh, employees that are working together to provide not only a, an affordable, but a reliable baseload resource to meet our, our customers' load requirements.